Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna walk you through the stocked machine of Hack the Box. So I have already connected to the VPN of Hack the Box as you guys can see here. And this is our IP address. In this machine, we will see how the SSRF vulnerability occur. Uh, that is server side request forgery. The CSRF vulnerability occur when the attacker gain the ability to manipulate an application enabling them to make requests to any domain they desire let's start off with our nmap scan i have copied the ip okay let me paste the ip here okay let's wait okay so our nmap scan is completed and uh, we have port 22 open that is ssh and we have port 80 open nginx is running okay nginx 1.18 ubuntu great so let's enumerate the http service let me copy the ip address and stalker.htb so we know how to solve this let me copy it we have to open the nano etsy host file and uh, you have to paste the domain here that is docker.htb and let me grab the ip address okay paste it here space okay let me save the file cat at c host so our ip address and the domain is here and now we can access the site let's refresh it okay stalker service about us stock your shelves with our products work with us gallery okay great okay so there is no login page we can see so let's enumerate the subdomain i'm using the gobuster so let's hit enter so we have found this dave.stalker.htb domain let's copy it and save it in our etsy host let me copy the ip address we have to paste it here let's save the file okay these two domains are here let's go back and we have to write dave.stalker.htb hit enter okay i'm sorry i have write s here and now let's hit enter okay so this is the login page let's write the basic username and password admin admin it won't work so i have already tried bypassing the skli but hadn't any luck so i decided to try no sql json bypass because there are two types of database first one is sql and the second one is no sql let's write no sql json bypass and you will see this NoSQL injection from hack tricks. Click on that. And we're gonna use this basic authentication bypass in JSON. Let's copy it and let's start our verb. Admin admin. sign in now we have to change the payload username null password null okay and we have to change the content type that is json let's forward this request forward forward 
and you will see we will redirect it to this stock page okay okay i have turned the interceptor off so this is the page buy stock now we have four products uh, let's add add it to basket okay okay i have added two item the cup and the bin uh, let's see the view cart bin and cup is added so let's submit the purchase thank you for your purchase your order details i will email to you okay click here okay cup is 32 bin is 76 okay let's start the bob suite and let's see the view card two items are there right let's submit okay now let's change this field that is cup to mm -hmm, let's say pen and let's forward this okay now let's click okay let me turn it off let's click here okay the pen is here right so we can add our payload here so let's search the ssrf dynamic pdf exploits and this is a server side xss dynamic pdf you will see from hack tricks and we will use this iframe tag okay in the title field okay let me copy it so let's paste the payload here iframe source is file etsy password okay now let's forward it forward forward okay click here okay sorry turn this off and okay so we are getting the result that is cool but we have we have to add the dimension that is height and width so let me change the payload So we have already copied the payload now we have to add the dimension that is height equal to 600 and width equal to 600 now let's forward it okay turn this off click here okay let me close these tabs huh root bin game man proxy management so we have this mongodb user and we have this angus or angus doesn't matter how you pronounce it or gender bin bash okay and the purchaser is also angus so we have to get the credential of this user right so for that matter what we will do let me start my burp suite and close it view card okay submit purchase we already know that the nginx server is running so let's see the configuration file of nginx let me paste the payload here okay so i'm using the etsy nginx or oh, nginx con file so let's forward it okay so here is the result turn this off and click here okay in the next page you will see 
ओके यूज़र डेटा एंड एज एस कैन सी हियर द वर्चुअल होस्ट कॉन्फ़िग कॉन्फ़िगरेशन आर हियर इंडेक्स इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एंड जेन एक्स डे बी एन डॉट एच टी एम ओके सो वी नो दैट दिस डेव डॉट स्टॉकर डॉट एच टी बी ऑपरेट फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्टरी दैट इज वार डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डेव सो यूजिंग दिस नॉलेज एंड अवर नोट जे एस नेमिंग स्कीम वी कैन ट्राई दिस पे लोड लेट मी शो यू ओके व्यू कार्ड स्टार्ट द वर्क सबमिट द परचेस ओके नाउ वी कैन इंसर्ट दिस पे लोड वाय डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डेव इंडेक्स डॉट जे एस लेट्स फॉरवर्ड इट फॉरवर्ड ओके हम वी हैव टू क्लिक हियर सो विल गेट द पासवर्ड ऑफ दिस यूजर आई हर्ड द पास फ्रेज आर प्रिटी सिक्योर लेट्स कॉपी इट लेट मी ओपन माई नोट पैड ओके सो लेट्स परफॉर्म द एस एस एच टू दिस एंगोज यूजर हेट एंटर एंड लेट मी कॉपी द पासवर्ड पिकस्टेड हेयर ओके वी आर नाउ एंगोज यूजर ओके सो लेट्स डू द एल एस एंड वी गॉट अवर यूजर फ्लैग cat user dot txt okay here is our flag now let's write the sudo hyphen l and we have to provide the password okay let me copy it again matching default entries for angles on stalker so basically we are able to run node js as root against this uh, usr local script that ends with the file should ends with the dot js so we can use the path traversal to execute a script so let's write the ref shell that is reverse shells and uh, click on the first link that is reverse shell generator online and our application is node js so we'll scroll down uh python आर ओके नोट जे एस चाइल्ड नोट जे एस सेकेंड ओके ओके लेट्स कॉपी एट एंड लेट्स क्रिएट अ फाइल नैनो फ्लैग डॉट जे एस हिट एंटर पेस्ट इट ओके द क्लाइंट कनेक्शन इज नाइन जीरो जीरो वन एंड वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड अवर आई नेट एड्रेस हेयर ओके लेट मी क्रिएट अ न्यू टैब write if config copy your inet address your inet address will be different okay, let's paste the ip address okay cat flag dot js okay it is there now we have to set up our netcat on 9001 this is our port 9001 hit enter and we have to run this script sudo hyphen l okay let me see the script okay here sudo usr bin node uh, usr local script home and goes and flag dot js right so this is our file that we have to run so let's hit enter okay okay connect to this ip address let's write who am i we are root let's write pwd okay we are in the home directory of this angus user i hate pronouncing his name let's write cd pwd we are in root let's write ls okay we have got the root flag cat root dot txt and let me copy the flag first copy it okay. 
submit the flag flag accepted great so we have successfully completed the stalker machine of hack the box so we have seen the web app vulnerabilities and the interesting scenarios of disclosing local files uh, through pdf is quite unique so if you are interested uh, learning more about it you can check out this article uh, we'll put the link in a description box like you will learn about the cross-site scripting blind accesses and this server side request forgery that is ssrf attack to be honest we cannot categorize this particular machine as an easy because you have to do a lot of things you have to research a lot you have to read a lot so according to me it's not an easy machine for a beginner basically but i have learned a lot from this so check out this particular article and uh, I hope you have learned something new. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like it. If you did then please share this video with your friends or your hacking buddies. Make sure that you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel. We'll see you in my next video. Till then take care and keep learning. Bye bye.